Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the stories we are following tonight. The Genesee County prosecutor says the mother of a six year old faces second degree child abuse charges. Police say her child took a package of her THC gummies to Edgerton Elementary School in the Clio Area Schools District. That's where several students got sick and were sent to a hospital Friday and the school was evacuated. The four students affected have all been released from the hospital and are back in school. The woman is scheduled to turn herself in tomorrow morning at 9. New analysis says that I-75 is one of the deadliest highways in the country. Data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports in 2020 there were 246 deadly crashes on the interstate. I-75 stretches from Miami, Florida to Sault Ste. Marie at the Michigan-Canadian border. I-75 was ranked fourth worst out of 10. More local news, a mid-Michigan public transportation service has officially ended its mask mandate for passengers and employees. Saginaw Transit Authority and Regional Services is lifting its mask mandate tomorrow. STAR says it will still have masks available for any passenger or employee who wants to wear one. And now here's John with your forecast. Thank you, David. Here after a rainy day today, it uh, looks like we finally will catch some dry time as we go past midnight tonight. There still could be a shower or two for the rest of the evening. Temperatures tonight, we're back down into the 30s and the lower 40s. Let's take a look at what's in store for your Wednesday. Still talking mild temperatures, mid to upper 50s. I think we got some clouds for the morning, eventually decreasing into the afternoon. I think there will be some sunshine to talk about uh, for the second half of tomorrow. Winds will stay breezy tonight and tomorrow, generally from the north and east will keep that right at about 10 to near 15 miles per hour. And there it is into the next seven as we go past today, tomorrow, Friday. It does look to be the next best chance for a few showers. Past Friday into the weekend, though, another dry stretch looking good for Mother's Day there on Sunday. Some sunshine and even warmer temperatures by next week. 60s and even 70s looking good by Monday and Tuesday. In the First Warn 5 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.